What is going on guys, it's Keswick here and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel where today we're going to be discussing the latest news going around on the Marvel Entertainment channel. So basically Marvel leaked a teaser trailer for Mar Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. So if you don't know what this game is, basically like, I don't know how many years ago but the, this game called Lego Marvel Super Heroes came out where you could be any character from the Marvel Universe or the MCU and you could just play it, play uh, in New York City as them, do loads of missions, play it, adventures, and just mess around in general. So I was actually a big fan of this game. Oh, sorry. And to be honest, I still wouldn't mind playing it now. They also released Marvel, Mar Lego Marvel Avengers, which I currently have on my PS4, and it's an alright game. So this game actually doesn't look too bad, and I'm possibly gonna get it. So as you can see, this image was leaked on the leaked on the other day, and it shows Spider-Man 2099, Spider Gwen, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Black Panther. Kang the Conqueror, Doctor Strange, Miss Marvel, Gladiator Hulk, Captain America, like the cowboy version. So this image was leaked, everybody just was like, whoa, what is this? And this game was actually announced to come sooner than anyone thought it was, and it's actually coming out November 13th or 14th, I'm not sure, this year. So it's coming soon. The actual full length trailer is coming on the 23rd of May. So that's like six, no, five days away. So not long. It is a bit of, I think it's the loading screen. A Doctor Strange comes down and pulls out number two from a portal to Lego Marvel Superheroes. I mean, I really like that style. To, if that's the loading screen, that would be really cool to like rebrand the game. The next thing we're going to talk about is actually the console the game's going to be on. All the consoles will be PS4, a Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. So they're all the platforms that the game's going to be on. The actual trailer already, the teaser trailer already gives away a whole lot to us because Groot is in it. This confirms the Guardians of the Galaxy straight away and the trailer is only about 20 seconds. Previous games, as I said already, were Lego Marvel Super Heroes and Lego Marvel Avengers. Both of them were very good games and you can see very clear progress from the first one to the second one. The game improved massively, so hopefully we can see another big improvement in this game as well. So apparently the whole story of this new game is going to be to defeat Kang the Conqueror. Is like it's, he's like Thanos, he's like evil, wants to take over the world, but he's not as powerful. And basically, he can like manipulate time. And in this story mode, basically, you're gonna keep flipping from the future to the past and eventually to the present, as usual. Uh, you would start the game in New York City and just do it there. However, in this game, the main world is actually not New York City and it's some planet that Kang the Conqueror lives on or something like that. New York is also going to be a map, meaning that this could mean two massive hub worlds appearing in this new game, which is really good news. Now, the one thing that most of us are probably waiting for is for the Lego Marvel games, like Lego Marvel Super Heroes, for them to cross over with Lego DC, like Lego Batman. I'm waiting for the crossover. I found a little concept of it. I'll put it on the screen right now. They actually look really cool, and if this game really comes out, that would be amazing. Things they could do, all the possibilities are just now. What I'm actually waiting for is a non Lego game like Lego Marvel, but Im imagine it with just normal Marvel characters because that would be the best thing. Just make them like humans. Marvel, if, you, if you're watching this, you're probably I have a bit of so I'm not talking about. But yeah, if you're ever gonna watch this, then make a game but without the Lego people. It'll be so much better. So there is also, this is the breaking news that everyone wanted for online mode. It's finally gonna be out. So as you've always wondered, you've been walking around the city on your own. You've always wanted to mess around with your friends. But now it's possible. In the game, there's gonna be up to four player co-op mode and a battle mode where you can either battle against each other or you can battle uh, with each other. So you can finally go around the city with your mates, which is just an amazing feature and I'm really hyped to play this game already. And basically to end off the video, I'm just going to say which game do you think will be better? Put it down in the comment section below, I'm really interested. Honestly, by the looks of the game right now, the second game will be so much better. That's about it. If you enjoyed and you want to see more videos, like news videos, then make sure to smash a like on this video. Let's go for 10 likes for more news videos. If we hit that, then there's going to be another news video coming as soon as possible. So yeah, subscribe if you're new around it. Comment in the comment section below which game you think is going to be better. And yeah, it's been your boy Keswick and I'm out. Peace.